cracking up. Our library bag. <laughs> okay, I'll go in your cookbook. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Hi, today I am trying the Iced pistachio latte with oat milk. This is my first coffee from Starbucks, actually. And I'm really hoping that it tastes like pistachio friends. I said I was going to get it the other day, but I didn't actually end up going out to get it. But Brian came home with some for me, so I'm so excited. And he got me some new tumbler that I really wanted. So, <laughs> I guess I'm a little strange. I already have the pink one, and now this is a green one. And now I'll just be on the lookout for a blue one. Then I'll have one for each of the kids, and that's just fun. And then I have a black one for Brian, and then I will just be on the lookout for one for me. And I really like these. They hold a lot of liquid. Mostly it's seltzer water that I put in them, or I make iced coffee on my own. So the verdict on this pistachio latte is, I think that Starbucks is just not my favorite. <laughs> I just prefer to make my own drinks at home and we're going to stick with it and it's going to save me a lot of money. So anyway, I'm out here. This is our current state outside. <laughs> Head to the library actually. Pick up a couple of books that I need to start. So... We're going to pick up some new picture books for story time with my nephew and we're going to see what else we can find so we're taking these back a little morning walk in the snow she did finish this one these two i went ahead and ordered um this one she said she will give a go later and i also ordered this one so i can take that back too i ordered this and i kind of I already took it out, but I put it back in because I thought it would be cuter to show you guys. <laughs> well, I was toying with whether or not I was going to send it back because it was smaller than I thought. You should always check dimensions when you order stuff online um, because they clearly tell you. But I don't know. The pictures just make it seem bigger than it was. And even though it's not as big as I wanted it to be, I still kind of like really love it. So I'm going to keep it. And... It's this one, this little tote bag, keep this book clean. Savannah and I went through what it means to be nostalgic because clearly she cannot appreciate what this is or we had to fill in library cards. So anyway, gave her a little lesson. It's really cute, it's made really well and that's probably the reason why I'm keeping it. So we get to pack our books for the first time into our new library bag and take it over to the library and I'm kind of excited about it. Ready girl? Savannah, yeah. you ready to go? Yeah. I was giving them a little lesson. A lecture. A little lecture about what it means to be, what's the word? Nostalgic. <laughs> so she's backing up. Our library bag is kind of the perfect size for her. I just thought it was going to be large, like oversized. But again, when in doubt, check out the dimensions. Okay, friends? My foot Okay, I'll go on your footprints. All right. <laughs> yes. Which sweater would you like?
go. The rest of my pistachio latte is officially inside of my new cup. So that's exciting. All right, so let's show you guys what we picked up. Well, I'm gonna show you the couple of books that I got for myself. This one is the prequel to Anne of Green Gables. It's the love songs of W.E.B. Du Bois. This is for some pre-reading. I like to just kind of flip through Oh, and nice. pretend like I'm pre-reading a little bit <laughs> so I can skim for the things that I'm looking for the most. I got a couple of books for Kindle. We got The Incorrigible Children of Ashton Place. Um, I'm going to try to pre-read this a little bit before he takes a look at it. Um, I more specifically like to look for things that are in series because he really likes to read books that are in series. He really enjoys graphic novels, so I got I Survived, The Nazi Invasion 1944. Savannah Stack, but I will let her show you these. you can find me at any given time creating stacks of books for so many different things. I talked about this in a couple of videos ago as far as getting ready for the week. Um, I mentioned how it just looks so different now um, because it's just something that's always going on. It's like ever rotating how I plan and brainstorm for our coming days. So this is an example of that. Um, I just, <laughs> at any given time, I can be found creating a book stack of some sort. And this one just happens to be, I guess what you would consider assigned reading, not really required reading, but more so of like a suggested reading list or assigned reading for Cameron's eighth grade year. Um, yes, we do. We are all about that unschool life, but we like to kind of follow along with traditional grade levels um, just for social purposes and documentation purposes. So um, this is kind of sort of Cameron's uh, book stack that I got together for Cameron's eighth grade suggested, assigned, whatever you want to call it, reading list. So I have, I can go um, and break them down in another video. Um, just kind of why I chose certain things for him because I think that that really matters. The why behind why we choose things, why we put them together, why we suggest them um, has everything to do with their education and their purpose in life. So I just have Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. I have Just Mercy adapted for young adults. I have the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by um, John Boyne, The Extraordinary Education of Nicholas Benedict, Bud Not Buddy by Christopher Paul Curtis, The Phantom Tobles, of course, by Norton Jester, and The Swiss Family Robinson. This is what is in that stack so far. And the reason why I am picking it out so far in advance is because I want to read through these and annotate them. Um, and that is what I consider a suggested reading, something that I've read already and annotated. And so when they go back through and read it, we're kind of having a conversation um, with one another along the way. So um, I'm gonna be working my way through these in the next couple, in the coming months. So that's just kind of why I create a stack and log it so that it's a good reference for me and um, it has a lot more flexibility to our options so that we're not stuck to this stack, but I have an idea of what I was thinking when I pulled it together in the first place. So yeah, I hope <laughs> that was helpful. If any of these little talks in between are helpful, um, just let me know because I can continue to share. Um, I feel like it's stuff that's always rotating in my mind, but I never know if you guys wanna <laughs> hear certain things or want me to expand on. Um, others if I'm able to so yeah that's his that is my current suggested reading stack for his eighth grade 
homeschool rotation. <laughs> We're halfway through the day. Kendall is trying to get something together for lunch. And I was going to chat a little bit about um, most of the messages and comments we're getting lately, which have everything to do with potentially starting a new channel. Um, more specifically, a book channel, a kid's book review channel. And although I know you guys would love for me to say that that's what we're doing, we are not, okay? <laughs> although we are going to have lots and lots and lots of bookish content, but it is going to be here on this channel because your friend cannot handle anything more than what is currently going on here, okay? Um, another reason why I'm not going to do a separate channel is because this is the season we're in. Like, we are going through all the books that we have read over the last years and the things that we are into now. But I do believe wholeheartedly that seasons change and we might move out of reading quite so much and into writing a whole lot more, which we do a lot of writing now, but um, it could be even more. And then we would want to share what is going on then. So I want to make sure that I am being true to our journey and its ebbs and flows and seasons and right now that just so happens to be books <laughs> lots and lots of reading um lots and lots of books so um i love that it's kind of i've said this before i love that it's kind of going in order we are readers writers filmmakers so i'm hoping that we'll have lots of bookish reading content to come and then it'll move into writing content and then it'll lead into filmmaking content and we will see how it goes as they grow from there. So that is the answer, you guys, to whether or not we are starting a new channel, um, a new booktube channel uh, specifically for kids. And that's another thing. I want to share what we read as a whole as a family because that very much, um, all of those bits and pieces kind of intertwine and make for the experience that we love so much. So I want to be able to share the adult reads and the nonfiction reads and all of that stuff and the kids are going to chime in with their thoughts and their reviews i just had to figure out a you know the best way to go about uh documenting and sharing those i know i want to go through like tbrs i want to you know um sort books based on the content um throw out some recommendations from time to time give some reviews, some of their thoughts and feelings on things they've read lately. So we're going to do all of that. There's lots and lots and lots of bookish content coming. For now, yes, we are probably more than likely going to be a booktube channel, but it's going to be right here at the Falco family, right where we've been all along. So Kendall keeps randomly just saying things while I'm trying to record anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to get more footage of Cameron in before he turns 13, you guys. My baby. I said Cameron, but Kendall, you're accepted. You're welcomed here. <laughs> Whenever I call Cameron, I get Kendall. Mm -hmm. He's always ready to come give me hugs. <laughs> there he is. Hey, look, you just want me to stare at the camera? Yes, because these are your last days of 12 and you're never in my clips. And hey! So 12 must be the year of like random outburst. <laughs> like I like the laughing. You liked 11? You didn't like 12? It wasn't as good as 11. What was so good about 11? It was this good. Why are you looking at me like Because that? I'm trying to get you to tell me more about... <laughs> that's, that's, that's Another thing he does in the last days of 12 is start to like do like nitpicky little annoying things with his mom. He wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. Thanks for showing your face, friend. Goodbye. So those are the final words from your friend Cam. Here's Vanna. She's going to show you the books that she got from the library. I told them I'd wait for you. I got three of the books from Nancy Drew. There's a series where she's younger, but there's a book's babies. So, <laughs> no, they're then, not for babies. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, 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 fine. But I got the, and then um, in the other books, there's a series where she grows older, and this is the, this is the one I'm reading currently, um, and then I have this one, and then, and then I have this one.
So I have these three, but these aren't. 15th book, and then this is the 16th book, and then this is the 19th book. So Savannah went and asked the librarian if they could be read as standalones, and the librarian said yes. So if you guys know, if you've ever read the Nancy Drew series, this will be Savannah's first time trying them out. I don't really know what to expect. I never read them when I was younger. And I think these are newer versions anyway. We picked Nancy Drew because Savannah really likes mystery, right? Mm -hmm. So we're trying to find some appropriate yeah. mysteries for her to get into. So we're hoping that the Nancy Drew series will be a go for her. So we started with those three. At the second book of One Crazy Summer? Yes. We have to be 11. Yeah. So we'll have to do a check for that one, but this should be Why? the next book. Because mommy always checks the books. Sometimes I check the books and then I have to go back and make sure I checked them. <laughs> Can you go ahead and check this one now? Yes, I will check both of those. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Just because I get a kick out of showing this all the time, like my bookshelf, our bookshelves are like never tidy. I always get them together and make them look all nice and neat somehow. And then they just get, you know, you know, <laughs> you see and I kind of feel like it's such an accurate representation of probably how most of our shelves look at any given time there's got you got your tabs up here <laughs> because we're going through logging each of our books in our system shelf by shelf and yeah I hope this glare didn't bother you the whole time anyway thanks for hanging out with us today um, I'm gonna wrap this up so I can finish off the rest of our day, get dinner started and all of that stuff. Remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn. Don't forget to subscribe!